Welcome to ISE's Equity Index Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on ISE and other industry indexes, hosted by Patrick Ceresna, a derivative market specialist and investment manager with extensive expertise in options in the broader derivative markets. ISE trades options on more than 15 proprietary sector indexes, as well as broad-based indexes and a variety of licensed benchmarks. ISE continually enhances its trading systems and develops new index options products to provide investors with the best marketplace and investment tools to trade smarter. Hello and welcome to the ISC Equity Index Outlook for June 13th, 2011. This is Patrick Serezna. As always, we start off a chart of the S&P 500 using that Spider Exchange Traded Fund symbol SPY. We were talking uh, about a market top coming in for the second quarter uh, back along here along the 136, 139 level. We rejected since then and even last week and the week before we've been talking that any failure of the SPY at the 134, 135 level would open the window for a drop all the way down to the previous lows around that 126, 127 level. At this juncture, we are now coming to the completion of that move. Uh, and even though we might start off next week with some uh, selling that may finish that move even as low as 125 or or an accelerated uh, uh, crash style decline down towards the 123, 124 area. But at some point, we are probably much closer to a market bounce than we are to a point where uh, we should be looking for new shorting opportunities at this stage. As soon as the market has one really good blow off sell, uh, sell day or two, uh, the market may create a multi-week bounce that may have it going and heading right back up to 130. Uh, 131 on the upside so uh, so as much as we were bearish and as much as we were looking for that downside uh, we are probably at some point going to see a very good bounce uh, within the next two three points lower Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC U.S. Regional Banks Index, which is symbol JLO. We were saying any break of that one to, uh, of the 24 level on the downside would open the window for a decline to where all those highs came in in October and November. Really, at this stage, we had a perfect test of that 22.5 to 23 focal point that we pointed out. At this stage, again, just like the whole market, this is a level where we could see a bounce. If we do have one really big uh, a crash day where we have one uh, sharp decline before we put in a, uh, the short term low there's always a chance we might have a temporary shoot down to 22 to 2150 but somewhere down there will be a, a buying opportunity for a, a multi-week market bounce recognize that any rally we get off of a short term low will only be a swing trade higher I don't believe that that will be the lows of the summer yet but uh, but there will be a short term uh, buying opportunity somewhere down there Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Syndex, which is symbol SIN. This is an index of all those casino tobacco and distiller companies. We were looking for uh, the highs to come in somewhere around that 140, 145, where the measured mood finished off. Uh, as we saw that topping formation uh, coming in a number of times, the sell cycle came in very strong. And, uh, and we now had a break of those previous highs at 134, which now at this point uh, uh, opened that window right down to a support line right here around the 128, 130. We could could get a bounce right off the zone. The, the syndex is very oversold, uh, but if we again had a very short-term uh, crash cycle, we could see uh, uh, even 120, 122 tested on the downside. But I wouldn't be really looking for that at this point. More than likely, somewhere within the next two, three points lower, we should see some support levels coming in. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Home Builders Index, which is symbol RUF. And then here's another index that uh, rejected right off that 920, 940 area. And just like uh, that Syndex, just it's been a, a repetitive seven days of selling as the market just more or less uh, down, down, down each day. It's, we're now coming right to that 8, 820 support line right down below. This is where the lows came in in August and September. I would, uh, It would be a huge accomplishment for the bears to break this to lower lows. I fully expect there to be a full market bounce right off this 820 level down below. So uh, watch for uh, support lines to start holding in here for at least a multi-week bounce. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Natural Gas Index, which is symbol FUM. We saw we were identifying those double tops from a, a month ago. And really, once that rally was ensuing just from a couple weeks ago, as it approached that 135, 137 level, we were saying so long as it rejects in that Fibonacci retracement zones on the upside that we'd have another full leg lower. This Natural Gas Index is just beginning to roll over. If that 125, 127 level does not create the market bounce, 
bounce here and we're coming right to that key support level then we should have a very quick drop down to 118 120 on the downside somewhere down there we'll be looking for a short-term low on uh, the natural gas index Finally, I want to take a look at the ISC Mini FTSE 100 index, which is symbol UKX. And we were just saying that, as we were saying last week, uh, if that support line at the 585 broke on the downside, and if it happened at the unison with a breakdown of the S&P 500 and the other global indices, uh, that support line would give, and that FTSE would start selling. At this stage, the only major support line down below is down at the 555 to 560 area down below. But uh, we don't necessarily have to go there in a straight line. Uh, if there's some very good selling in the markets we might get uh, a test 20 points lower or 15 points lower in one good straight line but there's a chance that if the whole market bounces over the next day or two it might just bounce off a slightly higher level than the 560 so we'll be watching uh, uh, where where uh, the turning point on the FTSE will come as it uh, sells probably another 10 or 15 points lower that was the ISC equity index outlook thank you for joining me thank you for participating in this week's session please join us again next week for more information about Patrick Ceresna and to sign up for free index options trade alerts, visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE index options, visit us at www.ise.com slash indexoptions.